how to select disputes using the select items icon. Here at the top of the dispute center we see the select items icon. At this moment we have selected these uh, icons in the in the rows in the derogatory items but we can hide them. This is unrelated but I just simply I want to point it out because I'm going to click on it to make the screen less overwhelming, very, very clean. Uh, but also when you want the full feature of these different icons, you need to click show icons. So now we're going to explain how to use this important button, the select items icon. For example, I'm going to click on it and show you the different options. I can select by type, account number, credit bureau, status, the paid column to be paid or invoiced or paid. When the status changed, this is important. When you extract the first round, for example, well, you wanna know when it was created and then when you print them you want to know when the status changed also we want to you may want to know when it was printed well, or see it see the ones that were printed at a predetermined date or also when they were created also you can select when they were they were printed but for all meaning among all clients. That is very good when you want to know, you want to troubleshoot a problem maybe, and you have printed many clients, but you want to select what disputes among your whole database are or were printed at a certain range of dates. Same thing for created. Um, so let's start for the most simple one, the to-do, for example. So you want to select the ones that are to do, to do or in progress or any other status. Okay, so but I'm gonna select to do. And uh, I'm gonna click execute. I have select from all, meaning from all your database, all the records, all the derogatories, potentially all the records because you can have a positive as opposed to derogatories, uh, but I'll uh, from all. So I'm going to click execute and I have only two. Okay. So without changing, without selecting anything, without clicking show all or anything else, I can click and select only, for example, the ones in progress from all. Okay. Now I have selected all the ones in progress. If I click select items and I want to select the ones to do, but from the ones selected, I am going to have essentially zero selections because as I, as I said before, we have selected all the ones in progress. So the ones to do from those in progress is zero or empty. Exactly. But, but if I do to do from all, then I will select all. I will, I will select all to do's, which is are only two. Now, I'm gonna click show all here, this button, show all. So I have the ones in progress and the ones to do. And I'm gonna click select items again. But in this case, I'm going to omit the ones to do. Also very important many times. Okay, so I'm gonna click execute. I have here, as you can see, this to do. But I'm gonna click and omit, not delete, only omit those to do. Okay, and they are omitted. Um, so now, I'm gonna, do, without changing anything, I have this in progress. So I have all in progress right now. I'm going to expand so I'm going to expand um, using the current selections. I'm going to expand the ones 
with to do. So imagine, for example, that you would like to select the ones deleted and the ones to do. Okay, so it worked. So in this case, I'm going to for to uh, prove my point. I'm going to change the status of the of these uh, three, and I'm gonna put deleted. Okay, so I'm going to select only the ones in uh, in progress at this moment. Okay, by clicking this button. Uh, this button show in progress but I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select the ones to do from all correct and I'm gonna go again and select the ones deleted but in this case I'm going to expand okay so if you understand how this thing works the flexibility is incomparable uh, you cannot have better control than this to do selections and potentially uh, fix problems or uh, do whatever. Um, so this uh, approach that I just you know, used can be used for anything here. So for example, if I want to um, go and... and uh, and expand on the inquiries to the current group okay you need to you need to understand what you're doing you need to so so the program can do what you want okay so I'm expanding here okay so I expanded and I have the deleted I have whatever else I have for for inquiries a so first round and I have this other one for to do so you see this uh, Kind of a disparate selection, but it was very easy to uh, to achieve just by using the select items. So the same works, you know, similarly. Uh, the account number, obviously, uh, the credit bureau. So now I, I say, well, now give me only the one from Equifax from the selected ones, from the selected ones, and I do execute, and I'm gonna have these three. And now I can say, okay, uh, but now I want to uh, omit the ones to do from that selection, and that will be eliminated, and I have only these two. You can play with that, and um, um, it's going to serve you a lot. So, thank you.